Hello everyone, welcome to FA Learning. My name is Rabbi Alam and today I am going to begin a new series which is on NFA 20 fire pump. So stay updated and subscribe my channel so that you can get the latest update on various FA topics. So let's begin now. As for NFA 20, we have uh, two types of the fire pumps. We have centrifugal fire pumps and we have positive displacement, uh, displacement fire pump, right? So the first one we have centrifugal fire pump and we have different types of the centrifugal fire pumps. We have horizontal split case, we have instruction pumps, we have vertical soft turbine, we have inline pumps and we have the multi-stage multi port pump in the end, right? So just have a look at the capacities uh, which is given in the blue line here uh, before moving to the, uh, the next phase. Okay, so the first one we have horizontal split case right and this is just for nfa 3.3.49.9 .9, right so this one is most reliable it's a wide range of capacities all the way from 25 gpm to 5000 gpm pressure is 27 2.7 bar to 44.1 bar of course 44.1 bar is much higher it's required at some locations maybe in the high dash building and in certain applications it has ease of maintenance and it's a very cost effective solution right and one of the problem with this horizontal split case is that it requires more space compared to the other types of the fire pumps so if you have pump room and if you have uh, less space in the pump room then this is not a uh, solution for your fire pump application so the next one we have the in suction pump right used for commercial pump application and capacity limited to 750 gpm so the maximum capacity of this pump is 750 gpm and it is most widely used for commercial application residential complex and all where we don't require such high flow right in in suction pump the discharge outlet is perpendicular to the suction inlet right if you can see this is the suction and here is the outlet so it is totally uh, perpendicular and this is the ideal for project with low capacity requirement because it is uh, the maximum capacity in usual 750 gpm right now if you are comparing this in suction pump with the with the split case the one we discussed in the beginning right these pump are more compact so require less space and um, in areas where we have small space in the room it is one of the best solution we can install uh, this pump over there and if you can see uh, we have 3.35 49.4 as for NFA 20 the next one we have inline pump right so this is useful where we have a space limitations and the capacity is only up to 2000 gpm but there is a challenge of maintenance with this kind of the pump because if you want to do maintenance you have to remove the motors and then you have to remove uh, all those areas to do the maintenance and this kind of the pump is only available with electrical motors so it is not allowed with diesel pump and all because of the configuration of this pump right if you can see here we have the suction and discharge on the same plane on the same line so if you can see something like this one this is uh, inline pump right the next one we have vertical turbine pump right so this is the only kind of a centrifugal pump that can operate without positive suction pressure remember as for nfpa we must have positive suction pressure at the at the suction side of the pump let it be horizontal uh, pump or uh, in suction pumps because if there is negative suction or uh, negative suction pressure is going inside the impellers there are chances for uh, cavitations, water hammers, and lots of bubble formation. That is the other parts we'll be discussing at some uh, in the next coming videos, right? So this is the pump for now. Just uh, notice this is the pump only available with negative uh, suction pressure. It lifts waters and can be used with both electrical and diesel drivers. Look at this configuration, right? This is a basket stainer, and then we have enclosed impellers, right? And the ball, and all we have the assembly columns, and the top we have mounted the motors to discharge the water all the way. So all these things are 
normally available within the water so we don't have any problem with those uh, cavities and all uh, with this kind of the pump so only pump we can use in a vertical shaft turbine centrifugal pump with rotating impellers right or impeller with discharge from right it is uh, a pump can be only used on negative suction condition if the tank is just below the pump okay okay the, the last one with the centrifugal pump we have multi stage multi multi fold pumps right as for 3.3.49.11 the primary application is for multiple zone in high rise building right in high rise building we know we need uh, high pressures so suppose a building is uh, up to 50 so in height so this kind of the pump is the best solution for those application you know uh, because those buildings are divided in multiple zones maybe the lower zones require less pressure the higher zones require uh, low high pressure so these pumps provide an alternative to arranging fire pump in series right with the multi uh, with the high rise building we can see that there is a pumps in the series after certain level of height when one pump is not enough to boost the pressure at height because you, we know that a one meter of sorry one bar of pressure can lift water up to 10 meters or one psi can lift up to 2.3 2.3 feet this is why uh, we need to arrange a pump in series if you don't have multi-stage multi port so the best solution for high rise building we can go with this kind of the pump right so what is the configuration of this pump if you can see this is a two stage axial horizontal speed case type centrifugal pump you know this is a single impeller pump with multiple impeller sorry this is a single uh, driver pump with multiple impeller operating in series where discharge from each impeller except the last one and discharge port are provided after multiple impeller right so they have different impellers this is the impeller one this is impeller two and so on it is be it will it will be like in the series so suppose here we got the waters as a suction from this side and the first one it boosts the pressure and now this discharge becomes the suction for this one now this is a suction and this is the final discharge this is how this kind of the system works you know it can replace the pump in series and it is the best solution for high rise building where we need high pressure for boosting pressure uh, maybe up to 100 meters or even more than that uh, we can go into multi stage multi foot pumps okay so this is all about uh, centrifugal pumps and the last one we have a positive displacement fire pump right so in the positive displacement fire pump It's generally found in water mist and foam application system, right? Uh, we in area where we need small flow and high pressure. Remember, in in, in the foam system, right? We have uh, the water line which is pressurized, and we know that one. We need uh, one percent foam concentrate, three percent, four percent, or six percent foam concentrate. So we have to push the water inside the line by a foam proportional. And that should be going so a, by a positive displacement pump. So 97% of water and 3% of the foam only, small quantity. But the pressure should be much more higher than the water pressure so that we can push the water inside the system. And the other case is water mist system, right? Where we have very high pressure, but small tiny droplets of water is more than enough to exclude the oxygen and cool the surface to fight the fire. So this kind of the arrangement we can see in water mist system, foam application system, and also with the with the uh, civil defense team on their fire trucks because they they need high pressure at some elevation from uh, from their fire trucks and so on. So these are the uh, the pumps uh, they they use on on those applications. Okay, so here comes to the end of this module. Right, we discussed about the centrifugal form times as for NFPA, and then we discussed about centrifugal uh, positive displacement pump as for NFPA. So that's all about the first one, first part of this uh, fire pump uh, types. I will see you next guys. Till now, take care and please subscribe my channel so that you can get the latest update on various 
a free topic. If you want to contact me, you can connect me through LinkedIn, Facebook, or through the Gmail. My Gmail ID is learnfe at gmail.com. Thank you and see you next time.